It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Mattis writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1682, recorded Thursday, July 5th, 2018. I smart, not so wise. On this episode of the Gizwiz, we have three new gadgets from companies that we've already seen and already love, all from Pepcom. Also, we get to see what the new gadget theme for my crappy corner is, and we get to find out what the heck was it. All next on the Gizwiz! It's the same show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, your master of ceremonies for gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dicky D? I'm doing fine, sir. And you? Doing great. Doing good myself. Yeah. Good, sure. good. You know, I had something interesting happen right after the show last week. I got a text from someone at the marina and said, hey, you're going to meet us. We're going to the silent disco. Do you know about silent discos? If Maybe. I, I, oh, okay. I know about something else that sounds similar. Oh, okay. So you said we're all you going to Lincoln me. Center. And I said, Lincoln, you know, Lincoln Center is where the opera is. And, and yeah, said, big. Uh, but they have a huge park at the side that they use. Like when the Big Apple Circus comes to town, they put up a big tent. Well, evidently they installed a dance floor for 2,000 people. <laughs> okay. <Whoa. laughs> And since the silent disco starts after the performances, which is about 10 o'clock, there's a noise thing. So the silent disco, I'd never gone to one, is you go in, you, it's only $5. You go in, you pay $5, they give wow. you a, a headset. And then I noticed everybody had a different color headset and I thought, I'll pick blue. Right. <laughs> so I have bl I'm wearing blue. Okay. And I look up on the stage and there are three DJs and each DJ has an arc, an arch oh, of lights over them. Got it. And I, I go, wait a minute. So you chose the blue DJ. Yes, but then someone is pointing to their headset, and they they pointed to the headset, and I realized that I changed the color on my headset, and then I go to my choice of the three uh, DJs. Wait, and your headset changed color? Your head, yes, it changed color. And since there were eight of us there dancing from the marina, you would turn around and start to dance with someone else. And you see their, their headset was red. And they, I clicked mine. And then when mine turned red, I was on hilarious. the same. D Isn't that great? That's amazing. Uh, we yeah. didn't get a hold of those headsets. That sounds like a cool <laughs> gadget. Yeah. That is yeah. way neat. I, I, you know, I just have five different radio stations playing in my house and with a little arc on every, oh, there every you go. receiver there you go. and then we can <laughs> switch it around. Yeah. So um, there's going to be another one. Uh, Riverside Park is going to have one um, in Riverside Park at 70th Street next week. So I'm going to go again. Yeah, it's that great fun. So it's so interesting. I uh, no, it's very weird because when Did you're you waiting on Did you ever take off one, the headset and you just hear... You hear, you hear people going, <laughs> yo, yay, ho, but <laughs> when you're a little going, too, uh, yeah, uh, when it's, when you're uh, too far to hear it, like when you're walking down the street, people looking and going, what is, what there are 2,000 people doing, uh, are they having an argument <laughs> with each other? They're all like. They're all brainwashed, fun. brainwashed, <laughs> I tell you, I saw this on Star Trek. Those headsets are taking over their minds. Yeah. No, it was great fun. It's great fun. That is fun. hilarious. That is yeah. amazing. <laughs> that is really, really cool. And good music, I assume? Yes, the music was great. The music's awesome. great. And if you didn't yeah. like it, you just switched to a different channel. Yeah, just media. to go to a different channel. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I don't like that. I'm going some I'm going to this person. <laughs> Did yeah, they have like great. different genres? So you know, one guy was like more new age and another guy was like classic well, it was, it disco. was all it was all disco so some right. people were doing upbeat discos and some people were playing disco and on stage telling you giving you directions let's all go to the right let's all go to the left <laughs> so it was a great it was a it was a fun evening for five bucks i'll tell you yeah that yeah. sounds that sounds awesome that sounds really really good yeah, um good. yeah not not i got some cool news but um i'm waiting to record some videos about it 
before I uh, release it oh. to the world. Oh so, my God. So oh yes, my God. That, that'll okay. probably be hopefully next week if all goes according to plan. I did. I got a, a tiny gadget. Um, this is actually back behind me right here. Um, I got really tired. I was using one of those Joby uh, tripods, which we've, we've yes. covered before, that have the articulating legs. Well, yes. those are great if you're out and about. But in a studio setting, I was getting really tired of those articulating legs, needing to reposition them every single time. So I bought um, a small little gadget, which is an itty-bitty tripod. So this is kind of a... A new little addition to oh. my. Um, Does it fold up and become a selfie stick? <laughs> not maybe. Maybe a really heavy, heavy <laughs> short selfie wow, stick. Wow, that is a hefty camera. Yeah, yeah. This is my T4i um, wow. with, the, with the Rode microphone on yeah, it. Yeah, that is uh, a serious. But yeah, yeah. If we ever needed a, the, this mic would actually make a pretty good uh, gadget if we ever wanted to uh, review that. But yeah, this itty bitty, the tiniest tripod I could buy is now part of uh, my little, um, a new thing. And, and what does that guy cost? Because it looks really sturdy. Yeah, it's only 40 bucks for, and that's, I mean, nice. that's a pretty, uh, it, it depends on, you know, what you're used to when it comes to uh, photo equipment and stuff like that. Um, $40 for a piece of photo equipment is like, cheap is pretty cheap. cheap no absolutely. Um, absolutely and it's all aluminum and these legs can even extend a bit if i need it to be like say two and a half feet high instead of the like eight inches yeah uh, that i have it uh right now so um so yeah i like it all right very nice yeah okay well we got some great gadgets three new gadgets from pepcom we start a new theme we get to find out what the heck is it or was it and yes. so we have a jam-packed episode. So I guess let's jump in. Yes, exactly. Well, you, you had a good observation at the beginning uh, of the show is that these are three booths I went to that I've gone to in the past. And each one of them was introducing something new. So first we go over to Lego with a running train. And as soon as I walked into the uh, Pepcom, I said, wait a minute, <laughs> Dennis, we're stopping here. And this is what this thing does. If there's one thing I know about Dickie D, it's that he likes boats and model trains. So <laughs> had to stop. And LEDs. At, and LEDs, there you go. And so uh, let's take a look. We're at Lego and Lego has something new. This is new, right? Yes, all these products are brand new and they are part of our connected play platform. So right here um, is the Lego City cargo train that is out in August. So. This set right here and then the app-controlled Batmobile are part of our brand new Powered Up platform. Okay, Powered Up, uh, it, it, the whole platform is new. The whole platform is new and basically what that is is um, a suite of um, apps and different pieces and elements and that you can bring your different sets to, um, to life. So it's all run by Bluetooth and that's how this one is working right here with the remote and it's next to the Bluetooth. And what about the yeah, roller, the roller coaster. coaster? So. The roller coaster and then this dragon right here. If you had Lego Boost, that's our. Um, oh, roller. Boost! We did a Boost yes. at Toy Fair last year. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So right. Boost so this is new to last year. Okay. So essentially, these two sets right here, and we have a few others, just <laughs> couldn't fit on our table. If you had Boost, you could um, use that hub. If you see the power hub right under there, you would um, incorporate that into the set, and then um, you would program it every time it hits this. Um, there's a sensor right there. Um, we programmed it to keep looping around and around. So uh, this sensor. Oh, is okay. It to keep moving. Um, this set as well. So you could just buy the um, Stormbringer Dragon. This is the Lego Ninjago Stormbringer. You could just buy this for $39 and build it and rebuild it. Or if you had Lego Boost, you would take that hub and connect it here, open up your Boost app, and you would bring the dragon to life. Wow. Okay, so the dragon is out now. Um, this one is August. Everything is August. Every, everything is August. This one is out right now. The, the uh, roller coaster. The roller coaster is out right now, just this month. Okay. And, and the train kit, that's got to be expensive because you can do, do so much with it. Yeah, this one's $230. It actually comes with even more tracks. We just couldn't fit them, but we were saying that you could build it around your Christmas tree this year. Um, yeah, so that one is 230 This one's only 39 um, but then if you had Boost, you would connect it. 
and then and animated. Mm -hmm. Okay, so everything is at Lego.com. Yes, shop um, Lego.com. Shop Lego.com. I like it. Trains. What's not to like? Wow, I can't imagine the Lego engineers who <laughs> have to design it once, and then design it a second time with Boost, and then yes. <laughs> design it. <laughs> A third time for fun. It powered up, yes. There's, like there's Lego, up. Lego Connect. <laughs> then it was Lego Boost. <laughs> then Lego powered up. And so, uh, I don't know if they design something with nine nine platforms in mind and say, okay, this year just release this part of it. Oh my god! And this year, because it's a ride, because the Dragon it was already in production. But now, uh, even the roller coaster, you can go back and that roller coaster, you can add, now add a powered up motor to it and make it uh, a motorized roller coaster. So Holy you're right. Cow. It's it it must be <clears throat> uh, confusing. I mean, I mean, I luckily it's, it's, it's a pretty uh, customizable platform. I mean, yes, it's not, yes, it's not and, like and, and it, Oh no. no, we got to retool the whole <laughs> assembly line. I mean, it's literally like, okay, uh, take these blocks off and yes, add these blocks yes, on. Yes. No, yes, luckily, right. luckily. Exactly. Even in the train set in the description, it says, and also into, uh, can interact with all your other Lego toys, you know? So it's not like you're putting in something brand new that doesn't match anything else but the train set is really nice i mean it's yeah, a operating crane and it has a, a signal towel with uh signal lights and little and little uh movable figures they're they're really amazing that company when you think they started out with those little plastic building blocks then they make movies and oh yeah i mean <laughs> we've we've had short discussions about this before or, um, Maybe we haven't. I, I've known that I've had it with other people. Is how smart of a company Lego is, because they lost. They didn't lose the patent. It just ran out. It ran its course. So the patent on building blocks is is gone, so that anybody can make a Lego competitor. And so they have moved into an entertainment platform yes. and a licensing platform with the Lego movie, with the Lego Ninjago movie, which is like specifically Ninjago toys that they own the intellectual property for. Um, and then technology, trying to just totally trying to make sure that Lego is its own brand. And no one life. can infringe on that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. the Lego Land uh, stuff, they're doing tons of stuff with Lego Land. Yeah. And there's a new, the Lego Experience which is some in a it's lot of cities. Entire, yes. Yeah. There's like uh, amusement parks. Like yeah. Exactly. Box, right. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, no. The, the, brick it's, and the, play the, tech is apparently the name of uh, the the technology. That, oh, uh, brick and oh, oh, brick and play. Brick and play oh. tech. <laughs> Well, go. I want. Does brick now and play know. work with powered up and Lego <laughs> Connect and Boost, or I, is it just Boost and brick and play? <laughs> who knew that Lego was the first technology company? Really, I mean, the first children's technology company. Uh, it, it, it's play really, play. and they built some fun stuff. I I don't own one, but I just remembered from a Lego demo. It's one thing that I never forgot. I even forgot the name of of what the device was, but it was, a, a you took little characters like Homer Simpson or Batman, and you could put them into adventures where they really don't belong. Yes. But you, you rem the, do you remember that? Uh, oh my gosh. It was, a, it was like a, a magic verse, mega verse, something. something like, it was like <laughs> a little, sta a little stand you put the character on yeah. and then suddenly he was in a video he got sucked in, in to yeah. the video game. I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> it's like people, it's like the Gizwiz. People listen to three minutes of it and they get sucked in. They get sucked they in another character, you know. Yep, exactly. And then they listen for four minutes and go, oh, this is not as good as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> you know, yeah, the anyway. writing here really could be uh, updated. <laughs> yes. uh, the is... scripts need enhancing. <laughs> exactly. And that's why we have no scripts because. We refuse to enhance. Exactly. You, you don't have to rewrite if you don't have one in the first place. There you go. There you go.
Um, okay, so the second company I went to was Thin Optics. You remember these, Chad? Thin yeah. Optics, they make the, the little uh, glasses that you could open up and stick on your nose, like Ben Franklin glasses. And the object they had was, if you forget your glasses, you can always have a pair of glasses. And these were so tiny, you could stick them on the back of a phone and your wallet. Uh, so this is what they introduced at Pepcom. We're at Thin Optics. Now, you know them uh, if you watch the show. These are the little guys that you carry uh, anywhere. Then they have a flip-out case here. Then they have cases for your phone. So we decided to come and find out what's new. And we're going to find out right now as you tell us about the latest. Mm -hmm. We have just an insatiable appetite for trying to solve the problems that people have with their vision. You wear glasses, I wear glasses. I like those. I like those. I'm, I'm glad that you like them because that's what we're actually here to talk about is, is uh, the world's thinnest, lightest, fully functioning reading glasses. Oh, you know, they, they look like prescription glasses. They're, they're, they're basically over the counter, but they're as beautiful as you'd buy in an Armani or a Gucci or a Prada. And, uh, three names I've never bought from. No. <laughs> <laughs> three names I can't afford. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. So, so what, it uh, what I'm going to show you here, I'll give you a little close-up, and you can see the size of this. It's four millimeters thick. Voila. A fully functional pair of reading glasses. They're designed to be extended use the same way that a regular pair of glasses are six hours, eight hours. They're designed with a polycarbonate. We have wonderful stainless hinges. And the thin case is an aircraft grade 6061 aluminum. And the overall package speaks for itself just in terms of the lightness. And we're proud to be announcing these here at Pepcom. And we're even prouder to be shipping these in four weeks on the 19th of July. Wow. Now, how many different styles are there? Are these all the styles that we're seeing here? At present, these are all the styles that, uh, that we will ship. We have two different styles. We have what's called the Manhattan, very fitting for where we are in Manhattan Island. You have a Brooklyn version? Because that's where I was born. <laughs> we have the Brooklyn. So this is the rectangular. What you see on my face is also considered the Brooklyn. Oh, it, are you yes. serious? It's really yeah. the Brooklyn? Oh, but that's so funny. I've been wearing these for two weeks. I promised my team that I would throw my Armani prescriptions away, which I did. And I've been wearing these nonstop for now two weeks. What's the model number of that? Because these are very handsome. Those are lovely. And they make you look about 14 IQ points higher. Whoa, I need these. Hang oh, on, hang on. Happens. Oh, man. Happens. All right. I'm going to finish the interview with you. Uh, oh, we haven't talked about all over the place. The I price think, point. Think, yeah, I don't want to play you in Jeopardy now because you look so much smarter. <laughs> uh, these will retail for forty nine. Forty nine dollars. Forty nine dollars. That's okay. good. Do I look intelligent or what? <laughs> Dennis is nodding yes. That's all the approval I need. Uh, okay, so thinoptics.com. Wow, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. They're great looking, aren't they? They are really good looking. I, the yeah. two styles are, are are different and both look very, very good. And yeah. for I, I really thought he was wearing prescription glasses. I did too. Yeah, I, and the other funny thing was when I said, is there a Brooklyn? I was kidding, but... But, you know, the best it, we know, he may have just made up that name on the spot. He goes, oh, yeah, well, yeah these are now officially the Brooklyn. The Brooklyn, Brooklyn glass could CMA. be. It could be. Although the press release says there are two styles. The oval is the Manhattan and the rectangular is the Brooklyn. So, wow. Uh, yeah. So they do great stuff. And, and the cases, I mean, you can see it was the things are thin, thin, thin. So that you can have a spare pair of glasses uh, no matter where you go. I, I see someone in the chat room. Becky's saying I need 275 or, or uh, 3.0. And I'm up there with you, Becky. Uh, the 250s worked pretty good for me. Uh, but I wish they, they did have a, a uh, bigger prescription uh, magnification, rather, for them. Do you but, think that they're uh, – I, I don't know if you had a conversation with the, with the uh, guy there, but – are they running up against the thickness of the lens? At that oh, you point? know that's interesting. I, I I didn't have that conversation. What what they felt was they surveyed the market and about 
80 percent of the market, whatever. I'm not sure the actual number, but an overwhelming percentage of magnification glass buyers do one and a half to two and a half. So by concentrating in that range, they knew that they were going to get the, the most sales right. with just three with models. With a limited amount of – Yes, you know. exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Factory exactly. space. Uh, yeah. And and the guy said that the, the they worked with the designers for more than six months because they kept saying they're too big, they're too thick. We it, 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 Somehow you have to come up with a technique where we can still have those three magnifications, but they only weigh – yeah, like that. I only mean, when thin. you started interviewing him, I had zero idea that that he was wearing the product. You know, yeah, I had me too. no idea. And that is probably the exact goal. Is is with the old thin optics, they didn't have arms, so you 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 know they kind of look like Morpheus like Matrix yes. glasses. Yeah. Um, and so these just look you know normal. They, I, you know, something they, you they could, look normal, and and they, they actually look like real designer glasses yeah that, that's what even when i had that those uh the, the glasses on toward the end of the thing i thought boy those are nice looking glasses did you happen they, would the do you think in your opinion would the case be hardy enough to like throw in your back pocket you know what i think so it's okay. aircraft aluminum i suspect i don't know but because that that would oh, be gonna, in my yes. mind, the, you mean in other perfect. words, if you sit, uh, if you yeah. sit on it, if you sit on it, yeah, if you that, throw it in your yeah. back pocket, don't think about it, and you go about your day. Yeah. You need some glasses. You pull them out of your back pocket, right. and you throw well, them you know off. what they say? They said when uh, production starts, they'll send me a couple cool. of pair, a pair for me and a pair for Dennis. Uh, I'll wear mine. I'll have Dennis sit on his, and we'll <laughs> perfect. <laughs> we'll see. We'll That's see. great. That's great. We'll let you know. We'll make a video. We'll make a video. <laughs> Um, so, uh, you can start pre-ordering, uh, July, a couple days, uh, but nothing is shipping until, uh, I think he said the 19th on their website and Amazon will start shipping them, uh, July 23rd. Cool. So just, just a few weeks away. Perfect. Uh, and our final gadget, it was very funny because I was showing, so I have the Godzilla 360, uh, camera on my boat and, uh, we had a 4th of July picnic, uh, barbecue, and I was showing someone the, uh, I handed them my phone and it's a 360 camera. And, and I said, just do a 360 and you can look out of every window of my boat. And the guy said, oh, I love this. He said, but I need an outdoor version. And I said, oh. well, wait a minute, watch this video. Perfect. Here we go. There We're we here go. with Godzilla. Now, this one, this guy, you know about that, the 360. Uh, we did a video on that. I have that on my boat. But we're here to find out about the new outdoor 360 video. Terry here is going to tell us. There. Oh, is this it? This is it. Indoor outdoor. It's primarily used outdoors. Uh, it's water resistant, so it can take extreme heat, cold. Uh, snow, rain. So this must have a battery then, yeah, right? An internal rechargeable battery. You can plug it in, but most people choose to use the battery because they're putting it on the corner of the garage or the corner of the house or under an eave. And so that, the flexibility to put it anywhere. Uh, we have a simple little magnetic mount that you just attach, and th there you go. Now, how much battery life can we expect? Purely a function of how frequently you use it. If you want to look at the dog in the yard every 10 minutes, it won't last nearly as long as what most people do is they check a couple times a day or when they arm it and get a motion uh, detection. And then it'll last, you know, three to five months. And it, you just pop it off the mount, you plug it in for a few hours, then you just pop it back on. and Just a it. USB cable? Uh, yeah, USB, internal rechargeable battery. So it's very easy to keep it up and, and operational without the need for a... Uh, for uh, a plug. And is this out now or is it it's coming? Out exclusively uh, at Best Buy nationwide. Okay, and the price point is? 229 229 and no fees other than that? No, no fees at all. And unlike a lot of other cameras that see about a third of your yard, this will see the entire yard. It's 360 degrees. Uh, you just swipe the screen all around your, your property, see whatever you want. It detects motion in 360 degrees. And it's Godzilla.com? It's Godzilla.com. Godzilla.com, their new 360 outdoor. You can use it indoors if you want. 
uh, security camera. Tiki Bartolo, Pepcom 2018. Bye. Okay, Bye. cool. So <clears throat> on, their, on their website. Well, actually, yes. um, so here, let's, let's check it out on their website. Okay, uh, yes, you can Best go. Buy, I'm, I'm not sure I've heard of this company. I don't know if they're a reputable <laughs> uh, seller of gadgets. I don't know. I'm wondering if Best Buy is going to become the new go-to uh, replacement. Well, actually, yeah. I don't think electronics, like toys always ended up at Toys R Us. Right. And then they started shifting. I, I guess the toy manufacturers knew about a year ago that Toys R Us was getting in trouble because suddenly everything was only available at Target. Yeah. Uh, so now we're seeing electronics that are only available at Best Buy. Uh, one thing may be that there are very few electronic chains around. Uh, so maybe that's why they go to Best Buy, but yeah. it is at Best Buy. I think uh, I, I'm not exactly sure the business model of, of a lot of these companies, but if I was to guess, I would assume that they want to guarantee a buy of like a hundred thousand products, and so they say Best Buy, please buy a hundred thousand of them. Best Buy goes, I don't know if we can move that if you're selling it on Amazon, if you're selling it all yes, over yes. the place. And they go, okay, we'll be exclusive to you, but you have to buy 100,000 units. Uh, that's what I would guess is going something, on. Yeah, I think something like that uh, happens. I know that years ago when, when uh, Brookstone and a Sharper Image was like, you know, if you bought something at Sharper Image, this was like the Tiffany of gadgets. Yeah. And, and I know that a lot of companies would give Brookstone – three months of ex exclusive sales right. so that they could sell it for the list price right. for three months before anybody else could get it and then get it at a, at a discount. It's, uh, it's so, like the, uh, the movie industry is you can see it in theater for $12. You can get it on a rental. Then you can buy it for your house. It's like, you know, the three different, it, yes. uh, you know, a movie doesn't cost like a movie, you know, <laughs> yeah. there's a rolling price. Same thing with yes, gadgets. Exact, exactly. Well, you know what? On their website, um, you can text the number. Now, Chad and I, we, I called him early. I said, Chad, we normally don't talk before the show, but uh, is this possible to text this number and then show the results on the air? And I'm glad we, I called him ahead of time because the first time, uh, I think the lady was taking a shower, wasn't she? Yeah, she was taking a shower. Yeah. It was really awkward. Yeah. Yes, and then and then we tuned into their camera, uh, 360 camera, the second time. They were having dinner. Uh, so we didn't talk through the microphone. We would not even... So you want to just call them one yeah, more time? Maybe we should check in on them. Oh, oh there, there she is. Oh, I, I think that there's a... This is, this is Mrs. Godzilla. <laughs> Mrs. Godzilla. Katie from Godzilla. <laughs> Oh, hi. Oh, she said it. She said it. And if you move your phone around the room, oh. you're going to see my number one assistant, Maria. You're experiencing... Oh, it's going a little crazy. I think it's because I'm the so... The first 360-degree live HD security camera. Only Godzilla allows you to it's see a pretty your good entire picture. world yeah. live right from your phone. Now, this so is... So um, is that? Here, I'm going to mute her. Um, yeah. This is through my browser. So this isn't using the app. It's This is a little demo but uh, yeah. props to her for being available at all hours of the day to give <laughs> yes. us a one-on-one -on -one demo yeah i called her for this morning i didn't even wake her up she was still standing there she yeah. stands in that corner uh and and when she hears that click i guess the camera comes on uh she she just goes into her speed that is dedication yeah. <laughs> that is dedication you know someone uh in the chat room said uh, it would be easy to steal. I did ask about that. I, I said, you know, it's just a magnetic click to put it up there. Why wouldn't someone just come in and take it? And his response is that most people put it very high up, like on a pole or <laughs> There you go. <laughs> where you're not going to. Where you need a ladder. Where you need a ladder. Yeah, so if you buy one, and don't keep the ladder nearby. <laughs> don't keep it handy. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, exactly. Hopefully, if you just tune in when you mm -hmm. want to see what's going on, you won't have to take it down but once every three or four months to charge the battery. Yeah, I, uh, I think that's a disadvantage of a lot of the new uh, home security cameras. I mean, it's the same thing um, with the Waze camera that, that 
you know, I love so much, that $20 camera. Yes, uh, yes. It has the same issue. And on top of that, the, the, the Waze camera has an SD card inside of it. So if you're not using the feature where it uploads stuff to the cloud, <laughs> not only is it stolen, but your footage of it being stolen has also been yeah. stolen at the same moment. Yeah. So, Well, you know, I, I bought one of those too, but I have a sign on my door. I said, uh, if you're stealing the Waz camera, could you leave the SD card? Exactly. So hopefully. Or at least hopefully. $20 so I can get another one. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. No, $30, pal. I did not buy the cheap <laughs> model. Yeah. Yeah. You have the 360 model. I have the 360 model. <laughs> okay. Let's not take up too much of Gorilla's okay. time. Um, yeah. Anything else we want to mention about no, the No, no. Actually, uh, that that was it. Um I, well, I love the fact, you know, with, with the, uh, with the wise camera, you can move it around, but it's, you, you can't yeah. take your phone and move, you know, because you physically let it go around. Right. Uh, so this and is, also if it's not pointing in the direction that you need it at that moment, you yeah. lose the footage where this yeah. it's recording at 360 yeah. degrees. Yeah. No, so uh, I, li I like the idea of this camera and the fact that it's, uh, outdoors now is, is, uh, very good. Fantastic. Um, right before we move off this camera, I'm trying to find, I took a photo of something that uh, we would both kind of get a kick out of. I just need to find my yeah. the photo. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> I went to, do you remember Micro Center? Was that a national brand? You know what? I, I've brand? seen the ads for them. I, I've never seen a physical store in the city, but in magazines they advertise, right? Right. And so yeah. I went, uh, there's actually one here in Dallas. And so I went on over to Micro Center. So I took a photo outside of it. Nothing has changed uh, in, in Micro Center land since like the 80s kind of feels like. Um, but one thing that, that I found amazing was inside they had a shelves, shelves full. Oh my. Those are the oh wise my. cameras. <laughs> Holy cow. They had hundreds upon hundreds of wise cameras. Are they the same price? They are actually a little bit less expensive because online it was uh, $20, but I think it was $7 for shipping. Yes, but, yeah, a, a mandatory $7 shipping. This is $24.99, so $3 cheaper than the... Uh, than the, the well, two dollars cheaper, right? Two dollars. Yeah. Yes, there you go. Yeah. What did I say? Four dollars. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Three. There no, you go. I'm not having you do my taxes again <laughs> exactly. this year. Please don't. Uh, yeah. There you go. So two bucks cheaper. You don't have to pay for shipping. You get it right there. It's twenty five bucks. And believe me, they have the stock because whoa, <laughs> there's just it's just so many wise cams. Anyway, that is thought, amazing. <laughs> it's so funny. I thought they were birdhouses when you first showed the picture. Yeah. I, there's so many of them. And then it was funny. Yes. That's not even the, I went and talked to an employee and I was like, you guys have so many of these things. That's awesome. And he was like, oh, yeah, we got so many. That box is full. <laughs> that box is full. Oh, that no. box is full. And there's even a display at the front of the store. He was not as excited as I was yeah. that they had so well, many. Well, maybe Micro Center made the same deal with the wise cam. And they said, you'll be the only store <laughs> exactly. that will carry the only brick and mortar, <laughs> but you have to buy 10,000 of yeah. them. <laughs> and they're like, we only have one store. Deal. <laughs> Deal. We'll do it. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, well, with that. Yeah. Oh, uh, with that, oh, I'm so excited because I truly don't know what the new Chad's. You know you don't need it. <laughs> crappy. You might want it at <laughs> Chad's. Chad. It's crappy I'll hide it. I'll hide it. It's still what letter. the new theme will be. It's still a mystery. Mm -hmm. This is the bottom of the yes. box. Okay, so we asked the patrons, our lovely patrons, what the theme for July should be. And they responded in droves. And the answer is... Oh, here's, here's the, the options. Communication gadgets. 3D printed gadgets. And clearance aisle gadgets. Oh, I'm there. Okay. At the clearance <laughs> like, aisle? <laughs> yeah, was that it? That was it. That was the clearance aisle. Oh. Took it away <laughs> with 46% of the vote. So clearance aisle 
is what this oh. month's theme is, and that's actually why I was at the micro centers because oh, I was okay. <laughs> looking around for clearance items, and uh, I found one. We have a new. I'm doing a new thing with the product shot. I'm bringing it down so we can get a kind of a, whoa, look a closer at shot of uh, of everything. But this is uh, one I got clearance right here. Oh my god! 720p IP camera, and it cost me 23. Buckaroonies. So wow. this is the camera. I have uh, a floodlight on the outside of my house. So I thought, hey, why not get the iSmart camera and I can uh, install this where my flood my light where my floodlight is right now and then I'll have a camera always always right there. And so I got it. And I was expecting to open it up and there would be kind of some wires in the back where I could plug it into, you know, the, the normal wires that yeah. are there for the lights. You know, just bare, bare copper, basically, that I could plug in. Unfortunately, it requires a AC to DC plug converter. It requires a brick. So uh, my, my hopes oh. were dashed uh, in terms of oh. plugging, in terms of taking down my floodlight, putting this floodlight up and uh, replacing it because I couldn't store a brick. It's not even the type of brick that's like, uh, I mean, it's, it's just a, the plug, the straight plug brick. It's not like a brick and then a, a line and then a plug. So I couldn't hack that. Um, so it, I'm just, I've just left it out just for the uh, review. So let's first take a uh, look at the box. Um, it has a quick start guide on the side and the steps are one download the mobile app. Step number two, make mobile phone connect to camera's Wi-Fi. Which I kind of like, I kind of like the verbiage of that. Just like <laughs> make it happen, make your phone connect to the camera Wi-Fi. Step three, add camera in the app. Step four, install the camera. Um, and then also funny, funny enough, it also says over here on the, on the side of the box, um, their website, which is iSmartCity.com.cn, and and is that that, is, that is not a website. That is that website does not exist. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you were hoping to go to iSmartCity.com.cn, that that just does uh, that just does not work. Inside the box, there is a bracket for you to uh, use, like a screw uh, to install it onto a wall, and then a separate screw to in, to screw in through the middle of the device. Um, and then to install it on, on your wall. Uh, here's what it looks like. You have two pretty bright LED lights on the top. Yeah. Now, you now, have, do you know, Chad, if, if those lights come on automatically they when do. it senses motion? They do. And there's actually a few okay. settings in, in that. Uh, you can have it set to this motion sensor or the camera's motion sensor. And you can also oh, have it set wow. to when the camera doesn't have enough light, these will just turn on. So whenever it gets dark during the day, the, these will just turn on um, at night. You have a wireless antenna, and then also on the line here, you have an ethernet plug, and I am not sure what this one uh, does. It, and the instructions, let's show those off. Um, they're, for what they are, they're okay. There's a little bit to be desired though, um, and ex specifically, if you need to connect the camera to your Wi-Fi router, please refer to the CD manual. Oh, you know <laughs> what? I just, I just read this correctly for the first time. Oh, I feel embarrassed. I thought it was saying chapter 5B because I was going, there is no chapter 5B. There, this oh, is, it ends oh, at 4B. But now I realize there's a manual on the CD is what it's telling me. Oh. So, okay. So, so rephrase. Instructions seem pretty okay. They're okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Assuming you have something to play the uh, CD. <laughs> exactly. Which actually is kind of a problem um, for me. So it instructs you. So the website didn't work. Um, I wasn't about to, uh, to be honest, I wasn't about to plug the CD into my computer because I was uh, not convinced that it wouldn't give me a virus. Um, and then the app, uh, you just download from the app store. Um, I... S M S E E. 
you know, you know that lovely app, the I S M E. Yeah. <laughs> so what a name. I Missy. I Miss. C. I am. I don't. I don't understand. But anyway, I found it. Found the app. Um, the app is one. Well, of you those... know, I just hang it on the wall. I don't think a crook would come near your house. It does look kind of like some sort of demon. Uh, you know, it almost has a face with one eye. Yeah. Uh, right now there. I think they're going to say, "Oh my God, this guy! Look at this! He's got lights. He's got an antenna. He's got a camera." So this is. Uh, you kind of. Oh, saw you the, got it. The app there. The app did download here. Let me. Uh, see if I can, whoops, uh, reload that app there so you can kind of see some of the, the wonderful <laughs> product design in this app. Um, I went ahead and, and went through the installation process and I did have, it was, it was not a smooth road. It was a bumpy road. <laughs> um, the, uh, the Wi-Fi kept working and not working and it wouldn't connect, and so I'd have to disconnect and reboot a whole bunch of times. Finally got it to work, finally got it uh, turned on. Uh, and then once it connects, you do have a whole bunch of settings. And I'm actually pretty uh, proud, sorry about this, We're moving this down. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I at one point turned on motion sensing and I turned it off, but um, it keeps sending this to me and I, oh, it's not going to play the audio. It is the most annoying. This is the, this is, it only sends you a notification when you're inside of the app. I couldn't get a push notification to go through. Um, but back on the settings, you do have quite a lot of settings actually. Uh, device information, Wi-Fi user, device alarm, uh, FTP, so you could send some of these files oh, to Oh, you FTP. can send flowers. <laughs> exactly, there you go. Uh, once again, cannot turn off that setting. Uh, email, SD card, on VIF, which is actually, uh, which is that setting right there, which is actually a pretty uh, big standard if you wanted to use your own open source software to get it working. Uh, DDNS, uh, AP parameter, alias, speech language settings, not even sure. Push notification update. One of my favorite is that one says reboot device, and that is an Xbox logo uh, sitting next to that reboot <laughs> device thing. And then the light settings. And so like here, uh, this is actually, <laughs> The Wi-Fi cam IR alerts. I don't know why it's alerting, alerting me uh, on IR. Let's see if we can we can at least play that sound at one point. Um, so you do have your switch right up here for on, off, or auto. So if I turn it on and hit done, there you go. So the lights will actually wow. turn on. So you can turn that on and off from the device, which is kind of cool. I'll ha I have it off for right now, just so it won't blind me automatically. Um, there we go. That's the sound that happens whenever uh, it has an IR alert. Let me see if I can turn that off again. No, I can't find that. I don't know where the IR alert is. Um, here we go. There we go. Okay, I think I finally got it. Which is that the IR alert is this is this motion bar at the bottom, and so it's sensing motion through that. Um, and so you can have it activate because of the 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 light outside, uh, the or the motion bar. Um, other than that, here let's finally show kind of what the uh, video looks like once it actually ends up working. Uh, it is actually a pretty smooth oh. view of things. So here, let's see if we can somehow. Who ha who ha who ha? You can. Well, if you need tell. another camera in the studio. Yeah, I almost I almost need to do something like here, something like this, where you can see that it's it's pretty real time, which is yeah, good. Yeah, that's the very good. Off. That's very good. Yeah. So once it connects, once it works. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, the only issue that I have is once again, it's recording on device. So you'd have to set up your own external, um, recording situation. Um, and the, the, the wiring kind of requires you to have your own ethernet routed to that port already. So if you had that all set up, if your house already came pre-wired for a camera, this would be an okay camera. Um, if you were going to use the wireless, um, it's not as stable, in my opinion. So, all in all, it's an, a good product. Should it have been in the clearance aisle? Absolutely. The website doesn't even work. The app is a little <laughs> bit outdated. Getting it, uh, the setup process was uh, very difficult. Um, but for 23 bucks on the clearance aisle, 
clearance aisle and micro center, um, I would say it's a good crappy gadget um, for, for what it is. Okay. So there yeah. we go, the iSmart security camera. Now, where would you buy this if you were going to try to buy this? I did the Googling for you, and let me tell oh, you. Oh, wow. It is not an easy thing to find. And funny enough, the things that do pop up are on, you know, this is a walmart.com, the iSmart Alarm. Um, does this camera look a little familiar to you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> For oh 76 my bucks. Oh gosh. Wait it's a, a second. It's a $20 wise cam. That's the wise cam. Okay, well, Walmart.com. For $80. For 80 shipping bucks, included. right? So, okay, well, that, that was a bust. Well, maybe Amazon will have something. Uh, oh here we go. The gosh. iSmart camera. Perfect. Okay. Wait a second. Does this camera look familiar? Oh, my gosh. Wait a I don't second. I believe this. I, I don't know about that. That kind of looks like. The $30 wise cam. Wise cam. <laughs> so, Holy cow. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on with this company anymore. Um, but, uh, oh, Bleak says I own that. They're manufactured by Exomi, which is actually um, a, a kind of a better well-known security brand. Um, oh my gosh. So yeah. Um, which means that they, they're a lot of the, the, and that one makes sense why. So what I was wondering during this whole process was the app that I was using seemed like more of a generic reskin that this oh, company maybe. had just kind of decided to use. So that's actually good news that it's not just made, no, uh, show, show, show me. No, Chinese tech manufacturer of all kinds of goods. Um, and, uh, that means that you could probably pretty easily use this with its software stack that it has with your own open source IP camera uh, browser sort of thing. Um, so that's actually, in my opinion, kind of good news because I bet that it would be able to work with a whole bunch of stuff. There you go, Bleak has a, uh, a link. Now I paid 23, oh, this is a link of, all sorts of stuff, including cell phones, tons of products that they make. Oh, oh okay. Um, so this isn't the specific product. Um, but yeah, so that is, <laughs> ask Tom Merritt how to pronounce that. Sounds like, <laughs> it almost sounds like, uh, show me? I don't know how to say it. Yeah, show, show me. Not sure. Um, but that is the iSmart security camera that I found in on clearance at Micro Center uh, here in Dallas, Texas. So would I recommend it? Probably not. Probably, probably <laughs> there's something better. <laughs> too uh, much work. Too much work, for sure. Yeah. Get a $20 yeah. wise cam yeah. while you're at it. No, I, I don't like things like that when, you know, if you buy like, like a Bose thing and then it's Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, the name says Bose. And I like it when you buy one of the <laughs> cheap things and it says, uh, look for us on your Wi-Fi. It may be listed as XOMAIAA9 or yeah. perhaps uh, external camera, or it just might say miscellaneous camera. Yeah. Or it might, yeah. Got just it. look for something that doesn't belong, and that's us. Okay, yeah. so Bleak, I, it's, it's hard to have a conversation through the chat room, but I think Bleak is saying that the Wise Camps are also made, or maybe he was just saying from the beginning that Wise Camps are made. Um, by that uh, company? By that company, yeah. Oh. Exactly. Um, and so all that Wisecam is doing, and I am pretty positive of this, I've been pretty positive of this from the beginning, was, was that they're ju they just have a really good back end and they have a really good app that they've made to work with the Wisecam. So when you're buying a Wisecam and the brand name of Wisecam, you're buying the US support, so being able to call them and say, my camera's broken, I need to return it. You're getting that 14-day cloud backup that they give you and the app that you download. But the actual camera itself is made in China. And there's a ton of them. And that's why the iSmart shows up on Walmart. Uh, oh, oh, I see. For $70. Okay. You know? Yeah, I know. And that, so it's, that it's not like hit. they bought a Wise Cam and, and are trying to resell it because Wise Cam actually bought the Wise Cam and is yeah. trying to resell it. 
Um, oh my so God. there you go. Okay, with that, let's jump into Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Oh, oh. Um, okay, so um, we are going to another video from Mo. Mo, who buys almost as much gadgets as we do. Uh, Mo sent along this uh, email, guys. I bought this. I think it's a great item. I thought you guys would feel the same, especially Chad. Ooh. So let's see what Mo bought. Here it is. Hey, Dick and Chad. Ooh. Love this Coffee show. strainer. Love the great <laughs> work. I bring another gadget. Can you figure this out? Uh, Cup holder. Fan. A box new so fan. That you can't figure that out. Oh, fan. Uh, Telephone cover. Um, a straw holder. Oh, it. it. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait. That's a. That's a. That's a Google Home. Google Mini. Mini. Yeah. There we go. So this and this separate. The two different pieces. As you can see it's sliding it out. So this is the outlet next to my sink. Now, what I want to do, and I think this will help Chad. I think Chad had this issue, and this might be something Chad could do. So, um, in order for me to hear out loud with the water running the news or anything on my phone or my iPad I used to use this this is a uh, a uh, Bluetooth speaker which is pretty loud it's a Sony speaker but I would always forget it in the bathroom forget to charge it and the next time I went to go look for it and use it the battery was dead so hey, now pair all right to connect open Bluetooth settings and look for the device called MBath G Mini. <laughs> there we go. Wow. That's also, just, I have so many Google Homes. <laughs> and you can hear the, you can hear the water going in the background too. When dad just passed away. He takes them out to play. It is warehouse. So as a speaker, it sounds pretty loud. I'm going to be yeah. able to hear it when I uh, use it as a Bluetooth speaker in the restroom. Um, I'll be able to run uh, news, weather. You know, I'll be able to ask it anything. Also, I'll be able to use it with my iPad and my iPhone. So previously, um, you, I had everything running. The sink, the shower, the vent, the heater everything that could possibly run that makes noise in the bathroom to distort uh, the speaker. And I still could hear it clearly. So it might not have come over through the video very well, but it def I definitely heard it. So this might work for your charge situation. It's a mount. The mount costs on Amazon, $8.99 free one day shipping with qualifying orders. I think you need $25 or $35. And, um, you can buy it in two colors, black or white. Um, and I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. Perfect. Bye. Mo, thanks. Yeah, that that's that's very clever. That's great. I, I have uh, so many <laughs> Google Homes throughout my house. Um, even even just to do cord maintenance. It, even if I'm not <laughs> doing this specific feature of setting it up in the bathroom to be my Bluetooth speaker. Just buying a few of these, you know, for nine bucks, making sure that it's yeah. tucked away, that it that it's over there. Uh, the wall is the perfect place for this because it doesn't matter really where you put your Google Home Mini, because um, you, you know you can hear it wherever it is, and you just speak out loud to it wherever it is. Yeah, so great. that is great. I I love yeah. it. I really do. Yeah, Beatmaster uh, said this is a home for the home. <laughs> it is. And, and it is. It's a Google yeah. Home Mini Home. <laughs> I, love it. I think that's great. Mo, that's really super. 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 I love it. And uh, also, it doesn't seem like it's too big to uh, cover obstruct. the other outlet. Yeah. Exactly, to obstruct the other outlet. So that's great. And got a, a fair number, looks like 
only 12 reviews so far, but um, more than four stars. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I like really? it. Mm. I like really? it. <laughs> Mo, thank you for that. Uh, Mo will get a Mad Magazine. I think he must have about 100 of those uh, Alfred E. Newman pictures by now. Uh, but we can use more videos. I do have one for next week. So if you want to make a video, two to three minutes, uh, post it on YouTube. Send us the link. And as you know, the Gadget Warehouse, we love videos about old gadgets. But we've opened it up to any gadget. So if you have a gadget like Mo that you love, do a video. If you have a gadget you loathe, that's even better. <laughs> Do another video. Get out your hostility and tell us what's wrong with it. Save other people from wasting their money. Um, put it on YouTube. Click on listed. Send us the URL. And that goes to mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. If you live in, in the United States, you get an Alfred E. Newman picture, current issue of MAD. If you live anywhere in the world, I literally do autograph the Alfred E. Newman picture to you. Uh, scan it and send you a high res uh, image to print out no matter where you are. Uh, mail at gizwiz.tv. I only have one more gadget warehouse, so get one in. Oh, you Sorry, know, Mo. I lost uh, my Mo voice for a moment. Oh, okay. Uh, Mo had added as of July 3rd, Gizwiz is not working on Amazon show. I don't know what the show is. I check every day. I'm a stay-at-home dad. It would be great if I could pick up your podcast there. And then an hour later, Linda, who got the whole Amazon thing going, uh, said it's July 4th. Still no word on Gizwiz from Alexa. I'll keep you informed. Happy 4th. We're in Vancouver, and we celebrated July 1st as Canada Day. Uh, cheers, Linda. So... As I said last week, I bought a, a Google mini home when Chad mentioned how good it was. And I plug it in. And the first thing I said was play the Gizwiz. And it instantly played it. And it does it like a champ. And it so, yeah, does the, it like, and it likes it too. And it likes it. Yes. Uh, yeah, the Google, the, the, the uh, Echo Show is the screen. It's, it has a screen built in. Oh. So you can like actually want, watch video content. Um, not sure. Oh, okay. I'm not sure why it wouldn't play. Uh, maybe try again and, and see if it's still messing up. Um, <clears throat> also, let's jump into the letter. <laughs> yes. Now. All right. So our email is from uh, Wes Kennedy, who says. This showed up in my Facebook timeline. Is it cool? Question mark. <laughs> Dumb? Question mark. Review it? Question mark. Uh, I took a look at it, and uh, let's watch a minute of the video, and we'll get the chat room's opinion and your opinion, Chad. Social media, okay. emails, texts. We all want to stay connected. And while I love technology, I got to ask, do you remember when we used to write notes on paper? You know, simple lists, love notes, little reminders. Well, if you like technology and are old enough to remember handwritten notes, listen up. Because I'd like to introduce you to me, Memo Bird. I'm a tiny printer that quickly prints off personal messages, images, notes, or lists sent from friends, family, loved ones, or even your own phone. You simply connect me to a Wi-Fi network, and anyone with a smartphone can download the app and connect with me. Just think of it. You could use me to surprise your child with a special message so they know you're thinking of them. Remind your mom you're there for her, even if she's not tech savvy. Make sure you have milk for tomorrow's breakfast. Nobody likes dry cereal. Give your students encouragement. Show the extra effort was worth it. Or share your recipes. That's if you're willing to. Now, you may like my curves, but I'm much more than just a good body. How much? How much? Like okay. the fact I can be connected through a Wi-Fi network or direct... Okay, I think <laughs> it uh, yeah, took go, a weird go turn. Go to the end and see how much it is. Can okay, you? okay. So yeah. the cost is... I'm, I'm going to guess... Oh, okay, I have a guess. Go ahead, you have a guess. $60. Uh, I'm going just a little bit higher. I'm going sixty nine ninety nine. Okay. Okay. Chat room says sixty. 
Okay. Memo bird. Because sometimes a text is not enough. For play, for work, for life. No, it doesn't it doesn't have a price. Oh, you know what? Does it have shop on the website? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Gee, they got us. Um, <laughs> here we go. Shop. Oh, oh I saw oh, buy. It's even more. Whoa. Was that three digits? Oh no! Wait! Oh, you are correct. Six ninety nine, ninety nine. Sixty nine, ninety nine. I, God. Yeah. First of all, I Weird. hate those thermal printouts. Look, they have their buy button be <laughs> the retail price. Oh, that's so funny. But the store has it at a ten dollar discount, so it's mm -hmm. uh, hmm. interesting. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, I don't. Um, hmm. Do you have? Is he a need for it? Oh, maybe you do. Yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes I need to print a receipt for a customer that comes by the booth at a. Uh, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> but I don't think that's the intention of this. No, thing. that's perfect. <laughs> um, and to be honest, that would be the cheapest, by far the cheapest, um, receipt printer. Re receipt printers, for some reason, no one's looking. No one's in the market, so no one's looking. But they cost like two hundred and seventy bucks for like a receipt printer. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, well, now, okay, now, just that remember when you click that sale I don't think button, would, you don't want to pay $79. I don't know if it would integrate with my point of sale system perfectly, but, uh, yeah. Um, for its intended use of writing lists and surprising the kids, no, I, I, this know. is not. No, I'm not, I'm no, not I, no, I mean, isn't it easy just to write milk, butter, cheese on a piece of paper? <laughs> As opposed to type it down and then <coughs> get your what... Wi-Fi and then say, Why? wait a minute, yeah. I have uh, don't, don't leave the house, I have three items for you to buy, wait, I'm printing it. Oh, we're out of thermal paper. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, that, that just destroyed the business model of Memo Bird. <laughs> I mean, they showed their greatest competition in the first 10 seconds. It's, yes, it's, they if, did, they did. Who wants to write three things on a list when you can... Print it and text it, and then <sighs> Wes, thank, no, <laughs> thank you for yeah. telling us about that. We're not going to review it. Wes, we just reviewed it. We just Chad's reviewed buying it. one uh, <laughs> for so he can print of sales system receipt. <laughs> Printer. He's going to print receipts with it, which is a good use. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, don't think so. Okay, with that, hey, I'm excited because we get to find out what the heck was it. From, okay, uh, so the, the you, did you really know? You didn't know. I did not know. Oh, okay. So go um, there and just go to the picture again and tell me what you think it might be. So chat room. Um, did anyone know in the chat room? And see, if if am I, like my real, real, real guess is uh, like a like a receipt cutter. It looks like it looks like that's a spindle that holds some type of paper. Um. And then okay. this metal tray, it, it seems like it's some type of industrial something. And then like th this back here, it looks like this is another, like an extra spindle. So I thought it was, it had something to do with paper and receipts and maybe some type well, of. Like, no, well, uh, well, actually it, th that is paper. Okay. It, uh, it, it is really a sushi maker. What? You Put the, uh, let's see, did I put the picture? There you go. What? You go. It is the perfect roll sushi maker. Didn't get great reviews. <laughs> uh, it was very funny because uh, uh, when you go to my website, you'll find uh, a YouTube video someone sent me a link to where two chefs try to guess what it is. And finally, one of them says, can you roll sushi in it? Um, but the object of the game, two people got it right, but the object of the game is the funny answer. So we got, uh, it is a rodent gym. It's a recliner for hamsters, an indoor ski run, manual adding machine, foot trainer for high heel shoes. <laughs> uh, the thing we got most was cigarette rolling machine, which it does a, a look a little bit like that. Santa's sled. Um, a dollar bill eraser for laundering money. Very good. Uh, and this is also funny. It's a device to get the last bit of toothpaste out of a tube of toothpaste. <laughs> so here That's are the guys good. trying to guess what the heck it is. 
Yeah, this is uh, this is definitely the hardest. So, so, some, also, by the way, I, I think I told you this, you know, two months ago, but uh, Amazon has spoiled me in the past. In Gizwiz, Gizwizers, and and maybe even your browsing habits, Amazon has said, "Would you like to buy this gadget?" Oh. Um, <laughs> And it's the gadget, and it spoiled me. Oh, oh, that's very funny. Yeah, oh, is is it uh, especially <clears throat> with the with the hot dog uh, curler that we the saw? The curler thing, you know, not you know, two two gadgets ago. Um, right. That was you totally know what? It spoiled. wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me if I was searching for it for photos for the yeah. website, and, that and then they go the and Amazon. that you're on my mailing list. Yeah. And they figure, well, if Dix likes it, and he sends a lot of emails to Chad, probably Chad will like it. No, what's driving me crazy, too, is when I'm looking for crazy gadgets, I, I look at a ton of gadgets. And then the next day, uh, have you changed your mind? Are you still going to buy the nut tightener? Uh, do you want to oh, yeah. buy the Alaska? Uh, when, it's when like whenever the, Amazon actually suggests an item that I want to buy. It's, it's, it's so incredible. It's like a, a <laughs> line, a light has shined down and it's like, how did you guess this with all the weird information I give you, Amazon? How did you guess that this was the right product? Cause constantly it's, it's, uh, it's like rainbow chalk and, uh, like random. I mean, this is, I, you, you can't even come up with the things that, that they, Amazon they suggests. Yeah. Right now, yeah. it's it's currently suggesting a weird loofah, some Lego sets, a whole bunch of different Lego sets. Oh, okay. Um, sheets, not sure why. Um, and a whole bunch of collectibles, like uh, those collectible pop figurines. Um, hmm. Toys, like a weird confetti like, I, I don't know. It never, it, but anytime I go to Amazon.com and scroll down a bit and I go, this is a gadget that I might actually want. What on <laughs> earth? It's amazing. That's funny. Yeah. <clears throat> the things we do for you guys. Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> Gizwiz listeners, we destroy our Amazon recommendations for you. For you. Um, Looking for crap you won't recognize. <laughs> exactly. Okay, well, oh, that means yeah, that there's show, a new show. gadget. Yeah, so, yep, yep. That's what the heck was it? This uh, yes. is what the heck is it for this next two months? Yeah. Um, uh, 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 um, there we go. That's that's the whole gadget, not just a part. That's the whole this isn't gadget. A piece. Uh, it's pretty obvious to me that this is a uh, robotic juicer. So you just uh, you just throw the the you know half an orange on the top of that thing and then it's like a disco party the leds fire off inside <laughs> and then it spins around to juice it it's a disco juicer pretty wow. obvious well I, yeah i can't and there's I a can't little comment. speaker speaker grill right there <laughs> uh it's a disco I juicer can't comment if you're close <laughs> or not if you think you know what this gadget is get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz six mad magazines for correct answers but 12 mad magazines for Clever, hilarious, funny, and interesting answers. Wait, and did I, I? I was, I was in my own little world before. On the last gadget, how many people got it correct? Uh, only two people got it correct. Only two. Two. So I gave away fifteen wow. meds to the uh, crazy silly answers. Wow, you you yeah. did good. You did good. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, get a guess. Well, now, now that now that I know to take my own, you know. I used to take pictures of Amazon, and then yeah. people would just go to uh, to Google Picture Match. Yeah, and uh, actually, Reverse the very very search. first contest they ever had, uh, forgetting that people could bring up the the photo with the label, I just said, um, "What the heck is it? Number one, uh, orange juice squeeze." <laughs> I just set it right on it, and like. People were sending in answers right and left, and then I think Leo said, "Well, you know, you sort of posted the answer too." <laughs> it says it right there. Yeah. So now I take my own photo and go to Google <laughs> Picture Search, and That's make sure funny. it doesn't recognize it. 
And we want to give a big thank you to our patrons of this episode, of really all of our episodes of Gizwiz, over at yes. patreon.com slash gizwiz. You guys support the show every single episode, so thank you guys so, 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 so much. We couldn't do this without you, and uh, thanks just so much for your generosity. You're helping us make the same Dunb show every single week. And uh, if you don't want to give recurring, this is an every episode sort of thing, uh, you can head on over to our website, gizwiz.tv, and click on the Patreon tab at the top, and there is a PayPal link on that page. Uh, speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you watch the show live. If you're encouraged, and you are encouraged to do so, uh, we record on Thursdays at 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time, and just head on over to the website. We'll be right there on the main page. You can join the chat room, chat along with our community here and we'd love to have you. If you don't want to do that, you can always catch us on demand, iTunes, YouTube, or our own website, gizwiz.tv. Thanks so much for watching this episode of the Gizwiz. Don't forget to send in your gadget warehouse videos. We'll see you next week. And I'll be here. <laughs>